Hello. Yes. I'm not sure if anybody's still here, but I am. Hello. It's me. Dr. Painticus. Please tell me if you're there. If you're not, this will be very strange for me. It will be really strange. <laughs> oh god, nobody's saying anything. I'll just give you a little update on the news. Got some cake. Now I'm gonna eat the cake. But just for you guys. I'll mute the microphone. Hold up a moment. I've just found this comment that I left on Horror Hotel 3. That I, I sincerely do not remember writing. So I've played a lot of games. Today I openly wept as I realized that I have ruined my life by playing things that are not Horror Hotel 3. As a wise man once said, imagine being Kojima after releasing PT and then seeing that Horror Hotel released. <laughs> oh good. I, I have a feeling I've left many... Let's just call them... Nice comments all over the place. I liked it when Clem said, ooh, on Clem's pocket dimensions. Oh, never mind. I've actually written three comments. Fantastic. Spectacular. It's getting unbearably quiet here. Oh, there's Claymore. Thank God somebody's here. Whew. Oh. My god, Claymore, before you arrived, I was just sitting here by myself. It was weird. I didn't know what to do. Ugh. Strange times. Strange times. I kind of want to play Cthulhu time again. And just... Try and get a slightly different ending. I forgot about the noise, and I was swallowing something at the time, and I think I almost died. That was good. Okay, so we've seen all this stuff before. Oh god, it stacks. The noise stacks. Good. We've seen all this stuff before. Let's just skip to the first choice. Let's talk about Extreme Cream. Oh god, I'd forgotten about Chicken and Darkness. Hello, Loop Tunnel. Bonding 8. We did it. Let's talk about the birds and the bees. Oh no. Oh god, my son hates me now. Now, I could be reading all of this out, but seeing as this is the... Oh god, what does clap in the hand mean? Is that... Is that caramel dancing? I imagine so. No, never touch the car, son. You're not my real dad. Here she is, son. What? That doesn't seem accurate. A 1974 car model car. The only car to be named car. 
Only three of these made in Dunwich before the factory caught fire. Oh my god. It was, uh, it was under mysterious circumstances, son. No one left alive to tell the tale. Only three pristine 1974 car model cars. That is lame. How fast does it go? It looks like a car grandma would drive and she's blind. Son, you have a lot to learn about cars and your grandmother. Now hand me that socket wrench. I don't know what that is. Can I go play video games now? You're a disgrace to this family. Oh, there's six. We've actually ended up doing worse. Okay, we've seen all the Wilson stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the workshop. Oh god. Shadow laps against unseen shores. This guy's called Al Hazred. Al Hazred. Fantastic. Oh, that is unbearably loud. I don't know about that, Tim. The green putrescence. Flesh, worms filled with stars. That is a horrible noise. You know what time it is? Undulating shadow morphosis. Discontinued cathedral emptiness. A voice calling. Calling. Presented by Baleful Tools. The goodbye, Tim. I'm running the show now. Okay. We're gonna rattle through it. We're gonna become our son's best friend. <laughs> Extreme cream. That sounds really cool, son. Let's talk about the car. Yes. Oh, we can't bond with him at all. Eh? At all. This is this is bad. Okay, Wilson, you're Cthulhu. Go to the garage. Oh my god. I feel dizzy. Where am I? Where's Mark Anthony? Wilson. And then does he just kill us? We have explored all of the endings of this game. There we go. You can never have a good relationship with your son. Too relatable. My goodness. Tell me about it. Are there any of the other games you were going to look at more? I was going to look at Infatuated Innsmouth more, but I don't think that's very stream-friendly just because it's a lot of reading. We've already been through all the Night of the Beholder endings, Relier Assault we've done, Attack of the Flying Polyps is not going to happen, Mr. Longarm's Village, we can take another look at that. Let's do it. Yes, long boy. I don't even know why I played any of the other games. This one's just the best. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the only thing I can influence is uh, the ability to look around. Oh, there goes the floor. This is true cosmic horror, it's just complete futility. Okay, so I've discovered how to move. It's the arrow keys. Oh, good. Okay, it seems moving is more dangerous than not moving. Done it! Oh, never mind. 
I pressed E and that happened. Oh, the floor is just a suggestion, would have been choice. Claymore, I think this is what Night of the Beholder was missing. This right here. Oh, there, there he goes. And the music as well. <laughs> the arms simply weren't long enough. <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil the ending for you guys, so... Mr. Long Arms Village, consider it done. That's just a, a little tease for all of you Long Arm fans out there. Yeah, you can't win. Everything's a bit weird to look at. Nothing quite feels right. Long arm fetish. Flushed. Let's see if there's any games on here. And if there's not, then um, what I'll do is probably go on Fallout instead. You see, stuff like this looks interesting, but I'm just, I'm wary of demos. No demos, please. Flap. Oh, really assault. Sounds nice. Red mist. The hive. Assume control isn't the insectoid hive mind. Spectacular. Yeah, really, yeah, salt's pretty good, from what I've heard. Dragonoscopy. Muramasa. Ooh. That looks interesting, but also... Worries me that it's, um... Not picked up any attention. Play Sponge Neighbor Escape. Play Sponge Neighbor Escape. <laughs> this isn't a serious suggestion, I just think it's funny. <laughs> okay, so, idiot, my idea for the jam was... Uh, now, I'm not sure how I would do it. Because of the nature of jams. Typically, you just give a prompt and people go and do it. But I was thinking about getting people to sign up to it and then giving everyone who signed up a different randomized prompt and seeing what they do with it. Of course, I'd come up with a prompt, so they'd end up being really strange. And people wouldn't be able to pick any of it. But unfortunately, I do not have the law on my side when I say... I want to be able to enforce that, and I don't think I can. Alternatively, another idea, and a much more serious idea, was I've been making a lot of just, like, terrible MIDI music recently, bundling that all up and saying, make a game using this and make it good, see what you can do. So, yeah, those are my ideas. You like the first one, the randomized one? Also, um, a third idea. Just cowboys. Make some cowboy horror, please. I like cowboys. Cowboys are cool. Ram Ranch? No. We're not doing 18 naked cowboys down at Ram Ranch. Randomized prompts, but with cowboys. Now that is an idea. I've been scrolling down this, but I've been looking at the chat rather than 
any of this. I feel kind of bad. Get the duck. No data about this game. Color me interested. Install instructions. I don't have a game maker license, sadly. Can't export. So instead have a video file. I like that. I'm not going to download that because I fear it will destroy me. Thank you for the host, Lily. Paint, there's a really cool photo you're in. Is that true? Allow me to see this. Does it involve anything I may have seen on Twitter earlier on? Oh, this is nifty. Anchor's now hosting, thank you. Oh, that's ominous. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I love the picture. Also, these are the same tentacles I used on my, um... Penumbra Overture video. So there's a bit of... A bit of facts. I can't think about your face without the damn dream face. I was contemplating getting that... Just the block of text. And copy and pasting it into the Haunted Images channel. <laughs> I'm amazed you actually remembered those, Lily. Claimer's right, that is really cool. Cool things. Cool things all the day. Yeah, this is now just a, um... <laughs> looking at my Twitter stream. Five out of five stars. That's many more than five star as avatar, but you know, that's that's a separate matter. Anyway, let's do things now. Let's do fallout things, because I still need to finish the pit. Go on cursed websites? I would. Oh I missed one. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll go on Omegle. That's Oh. That's, uh, Omegle's always a good idea for streams. Guys, everybody go and follow twitch.tv forward slash Lily in his eye. Otherwise, I will defeat you. That's cool. What do you mean, what? No, stop. Am I not being nice? Follow Lily. Do all the good things. Twitter and Twitch. Sk -sk -sk ack. And you oop, etc. Ack, ack. It's not Mars Attacks. Oh god, don't talk about space. You'll make me think about Mothership Zeta again. You don't offer anything? How are you going to get your chests full of gold? <laughs> but what? I need to change the stream information. When the apocalypse hits, I'm naming my kid Bethesda. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nyarlathotep, level 27, Instrument of Ruin. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Acquire a slave outfit. What? Oh, yeah.
Hello, I'm here for your slaves. Your slave? Oh, he didn't have one. Oh my god, you, you paused David Tennant for me? Really, are you feeling it, right? There is some very calm music going on currently. I just decapitated a man. It doesn't feel quite right. Oh, I forgot I had this thing. Crazy that Obama went into city after to Tower's Empire. Yeah. Hello, Pit Slave. Oh, I don't even have my cool helmet on. Disaster. That's because it's broken. Last of a disaster. 18 naked cowboys down at Ram Ranch. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh god. Oh my god. This, oh, this has not gone well. Where did you come from, Night Ghoul? There's two of them. Claymore? I've had it for months. But if you're talking about in-game, I just got it now. This guy's budget snake. Ah, where did you come from? I followed you. I've gotten very good at staying out of sight when I don't want to be seen. Whatever you say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This oh, whoa. Trip. I want to see a Fallout game that takes place in Pennsylvania, but not Pittsburgh. I want it to be Philadelphia. I want it to be real grim, but like, the twist at the end is that it's not the post-apocalypse, it's just regular Philadelphia. Cream Cheese Town. Oh, I forgot that these things existed. Travel to the pit. Oh wait, I just remembered. Post-apocalyptic home front. Not home front. Philadelphia is basically home front the revolution, so. Rut row. Every character is Danny DeVito with a palette swap. I like the idea. Are these guys friends? No. I don't think the east coast of America is this cliffy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. What are you guys doing here? You got a lot of guts coming yeah. back to this place. I guess that's the difference between us. I guess that's the difference between us. What is your hair color? It's amazing. Oh. What? What? Stop it! Stop it! Wait. Jesus Christ! No! 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 He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! It's okay. Jesus Christ! Oh. Widow mains. <laughs> Will you stop shooting it? Right, okay. Come on. No, stop, stop, shoot, stop, sh please stop shooting him. Please. He's been dead for so long. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. No. Oh my god. That. That was such a distressing sight. What did that one guy in particular do? Oh god, that's really stressed me out. Make spore emote? Yep, that's a good one. Um, also the little dance and party hat guy that was in Necrobox. Spore relier tower emote? Yeah. Now I like spore relier tower. Lovecraft that JPEG. <laughs> I 
I always forget that this is what his face is like. Number 15. This is oh, as God. far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. Don't expect to take anything you have in with you. Once you're inside, find a slave. Okay, um... I've forgotten what the story of this is, because I didn't really pay any attention. But we'll make our own story as we go. That sounds better, right? That sounds good? Sounds good. Nice. So we're playing as Chills, um, but he's been haunted by Nyarlathotep. And he is going to Pittsburgh to hunt lizards. But shock and horror, there are no lizards in Pittsburgh. They got rid of them all. And instead, he has to spend his whole time wondering who put a plunger in this box and uh, getting captured by slavers. Yeah, no, the, the pit is actually pretty good. It's got like a, it's kind of scary actually in some parts. There's a bit where you have to, well, I mean, it won't be scary because you've got so much HP, but there's a bit where you have to um, go onto this like fenced off area and it's it's genuinely quite frightening. Or it would be if you were vulnerable, which I'm not. We're gonna quick save real quick. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. That's a significant quantity of radiation. Too much, dare I say. Wh hold up, can somebody clip that little animation he just did? That was spectacular. Oh, his name's Wild Man? Was her name? My goodness. Spooky music. Very loud gun. What's next? It does sound like dusk. You're very, very right. Landmine! 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 Dog mines! Oh, they're all my friends! Oh no, my friend ran into a mine! Reminds me of when we got dog meat, and the first thing he did was run into a mine. Yeah, my, the amount of HP I have is frankly obscene. And I also restore HP when I deal damage to things. So, the chances of me dying, quite low. That was Avatar, you're right. Oh, that was grim. Hey, hey, slave. There you go. I really like this set dressing here, just... How gritty and horrible it looks. I wish the rest of Fallout 3 was like this rather than just kind of grey metropolitan buildings. I am wearing leather straps for armor and they do defend against most things. Oh, downtown. Hey friend. Hey friend. Hello friend. I love it. Another slave wanted back here, yeah, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? <clears throat> this guy's name is Mex. Why I should... Now would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Scab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get to work. That guy just found a full suit of pre-war power armor and a lightning sword. I did not think anything of it. His voice is adorable. Get in there and get the work, asshole. Ooh. You don't mess with chills when he's on his BDSM gear. Oh, he actually had a special weapon. Infiltrator. Oh. 
stomp him until he's a small brown stain. Now, will that break the rest of this DLC? It might. Let's find out. Master of the Wastes perk. Uh. Oh. What? You thought you could kill my buddies at the gate, and we just let you walk in here? On any other day, I'd just stake you out for the trucks. Oh. But Asher said to put you to work. And what the big man says. But it looks like we're going to get some. Good. Guys, I've got so much HP, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, just fade to black. Hey, put that down, it's mine! Let's get out of here. Right. Relax. They messed you up pretty bad. Take it easy. Don't move too quickly. Come on. Sit up now. What were you thinking, trying to shoot your way in here like that? That's not gonna help anyone. I thought Werner said you were supposed to be clever. I thought Werner said you were supposed to be clever. Here now, and you look it's like the same voice actor as Tex-Mex. I think it was, actually. Everyone in this DLC is like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm full of tin cans. Experiment number two. It worked. <laughs> Fifteen reasons you should have stayed home. This might seem inhumane, but honestly, I'm doing them a favor. This is no life. Did I not pick up that other steel saw? I did not. Disaster. Okay, this DLC seems a little bit strange, seeing as it's not punishing me at all for... Whoopsies. For... Killing everyone. Oh, never mind. Here he is. The big man. Hmm. Much to think about. Nola. No, my brothers. Wait, auto axe sounds better than steel saw. And it is. So what do I do when I come across the good DLC? I break it. I break it all. Well, I got had a had a name and everything. I'd feel bad if I did, you know, didn't not care. I knew I heard something. I knew I heard something. How much HP do you have? Oh, it's because you're blocking me. Oh, uh, classic. Number three, Mill Rampage. I remember when I was just a boy going to the steel mill with my auto axe and I said to each of the slaves, can I ask you a question? They didn't find it very funny, but that's okay because soon after they didn't have a choice.
allow me into the pit. Run for it. You like the sight of your own blood? Marco! Buddy! No! Marco! Buddy! See, what I like about this DLC is you can kill everyone. You like the sight of your own blood? <laughs> I just hit her with the... Like the blunt, act, the blunt end of it. Pit slave, what are you doing? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> He wasn't even hostile. Yeah, and with the VATS attack, you always end up doing the wrong animation. Which is pretty nice. It's a nice little detail. You know, for the, for the scholars out there. Who is shooting at me? How do I stop you? Bone? Jesus Christ, Nero Laptop, you don't have to be that brutal. <laughs> yeah, just straight up undid her head. Gone, reduced to atoms. God, everything requires keys these days. This is why the economy is failing. I want to step in that. Ooh. Have I broken this yet? Is this well and truly... How? Is this well and truly dead? Yeah, the only D the only DLC after this one is uh, Broken Steel. <laughs> yeah, Anchor. I saw your thing and I was like, "Do do I comment on it, <laughs> or do I just leave her to comment on it in a second? <laughs> um, yeah, Broken Steel is the only DLC after this, but I don't know if we'll do it because you have to finish the main story. God, that's loud. Over enabled. Ah, override enabled. Yeah, let's let's load back that save. Hello. Oh yeah, I can actually progress because I'm not carrying the iguanas. That's very true. Not here. We'll talk in my house. Mom. Not now. The simulation bit is cool. Not interested. Not interested. All right, we can talk now, but we shouldn't take too long. I have a plan for getting you into action. Okay. The story is chills is now in Pittsburgh and he wants to kill everyone but he can't because it won't let him progress in the story well if you met and um what in <laughs> well I like that what in God's name are super mutants uh chills just saying yes to everything anyone says to us who is this scale um, nothing uh, nothing sir I thought you could hide thought you could hide her I really should stop killing everyone I see. Anka. Hold up. You look into this face, into those cold eyes, and say, Damn, you look good. 
I will say, Chills is quite ripped. Looking into those eyes certainly gives me chills. Oh, yeah. So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He knows. Ten ingots as fast as he can. Well then, I hope you also said goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Well, it's home, I guess. Got what an alpha. He didn't even remotely care that I pushed him into a corner. Oh look, we got the floating meat merchant. Hello, uh, yes. Yeah, what do you want? Meat. He's over in the mill. <laughs> Yo. -ho -ho. Everyone's got names. I just <laughs> unintentionally did the chills voice. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Everyone has names. <clears throat> what do they mean? Number 12. Mischievous chills. You're new, aren't you? Are you here from the eerie stretch? Well... Since you might be able to help me, I'll let you in on a little. I find out what's going on, and let good deal, huh? Oh, cool. So, what have you heard? Oh, can we, we can just rat on everyone. That figures. Here are a couple. No, what's no, new? we're gonna rat on everyone. Oh, here's a little. What's new? Oh, I'm gonna make life hell for myself. From outside, here's a little something. So, what have you heard? I guess the, here's a couple of. What's new? Have you heard? Will that break the game? Uh, we'll find out. Number twelve, mischievous dog. Dogs can sometimes be quite mischievous when left alone. <laughs> Footage of dog meat running into a mine. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> yeah, this is the scary bit. Those boys are freaky as all hell. And if you come here at a low level... <laughs> uh, if you come here at a low level, you can quite easily destroy yourself. Did I just walk backwards? Almost certain I did. Claymore, I'm almost certain you don't look like a Trog IRL. Hey. Get out of my face. Okay. Get out of my face. Shab. You stand like one? That's pretty alpha. I do not recall you being given that much ammunition right off the bat. This is far and away the nicest looking place in all of Fallout 3. In fact, it might be one of the, uh... One of the nicest looking places in Fallout, just in general. There's one of the trogs doing trog business, what's it gonna do? Oh god. Oh god, I shot its head. It will not be pleased. 
forgot how loud the rain was. The objective here is to pick up some steel ingots. We already have four, we need ten. But I'm gonna collect all of them. Every single one. Every single one until everyone's happy. Ooh. Steel ingots. To make steel daggers to level up Lex moving. If you think about it, the pit is just a Minecraft prison server? Hang on, is that a thing? Do people do that? Minecraft prison servers? God, I hope people do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that it makes sense. Oh god, that's grim, Anchor. But I do feel like Gmod is at least, you know, a tiny bit more suited to that than, than Minecraft. I don't think I've ever been to this part before. Uh, oh, you'll now deal extra damage with the signature weapon of the slaves, the auto axe. Nice one. I'm not gonna return to Medea just yet. Look how many things I can get. What the hell is gamma shield armor? You see? I wouldn't have found this had I just been a little soy boy. Give me your stealing goods. I am a little soy I guess. <laughs> Why do the slaves have weapons? It's a failure in management. I mean... I feel like everyone has a signature weapon, even if they've never laid their eyes on it. I do have little soy boy cat ears, that is... That is true, actually. I ain't just confirmed he's a, he's a cat boy live. If I was a cat boy... I'd sleep all the time. Oh wait, hang on. Idiot, I don't know why, but in my head, your signature weapon is like... a club, but with somebody's skull at the end of it. Anka, no idea why, but yours would be like a Tommy gun. Um, Claymore. I feel like because you're a skeleton, claymores would have to be. Hmm. Like a human arm, but with all the meat and so on still on it. Because you know, sometimes you get people using like bone clubs. I feel like she'd do the opposite. <laughs> have I read your name? Too obvious. Way too obvious. Anka, your sidearm can be a revolver. Actually, no, if, you're, if we're using a Tommy gun, your sidearm would be... Hmm. Your sidearm would be government corruption. Nobody accepts the claymore, nobody accepts the bone glove. <laughs> While you hit people with it, you can say, Welcome to the bone club. And they'll be like, What? It's still got all the meat on it. And you'll be like, Yeah, but I'm a skeleton, so it makes sense. And they'd be like, Oh, okay. And then they die. I like that that guy had absolutely. Um. That guy had absolutely no fall animation. He just kind of dropped.
Oh, hello. Get a bobby pin on him, that's cute. Uh, let's get small guns all the way up. Party boy? No. Warmonger? No. 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 It's all too easy. Deep sleep. This all seems very, very dull. Let's get camera resistance so we can take all of the drugs. I feel like my signature move in a fight would be to just, like, lose the fight. <laughs> you should be crying. Oh, to be fair, crying could be quite intimidating if you're like sprinting at someone while you know full on tears, Tommy gun in hand, firing away, killing all the gremlin friends. Oh yeah, sorry. In my head, there's like a war between humans and gremlins, and we are on the gremlin side, and we're killing our own team. There's a whole bunch of lore, so don't 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 worry about it. I'll catch you up at some point. Crying and screaming. Anka, I'm pretty sure you just made me invoke some kind of, like, evil passphrase, because as soon as I said that, the weather immediately swat- like, swapped to... dark and spooky. Genuinely freaked me out quite a lot. Thank you, Anka. Hello, yes, I'm here for your steel ingots. Are you going to start doing live-action skits during videos to develop the Gremlin War subplot until we make a movie? Yes. But I'm not gonna tell you when. Could be in the next video, could be in... 2055. Could be in the Bubsy in June video. Bubsy video, there we go. I have to Lovecraft critic I go insane so you don't have to. Ah oh, no. Oh wild bill. Anka, don't worry, you will be alive by then. I'll make sure of it. Before you ask, yes, that was a threat. Wild Bill, your sidearm is precise. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh yeah, I likely will be dead by this summer because of coronavirus, but that's fine. So I see something a mad scientist would say. Yeah. I'm not a scientist though. So it's gonna be real grim. Flu kills more people? Oh no, but you know when you just, like, you get that feeling where you're like, you hear something bad's happening and you're like, oh, that, that's definitely gonna happen to me. Yeah, Lil? Lil, are you gonna tell me not to die? I'm not getting coronavirus? But I want to. <laughs> Dropped your crown, King. <laughs> Anti Corona. Who are you? Oh, you're shooting a truck. Ooh, you got some dodging skills.
That's a spectacular amount of flame. Uh, Lil, are you buying a 2.5 grand dress? Oh, this guy's doing a whole thing. <laughs> Use it to cry in. Yeah, Lil, I'll, I'll be straight up with you. 2,800 is too much to spend on, on more or less anything that's not a house. In my opinion. <laughs> That, that's that's a lot of money. It's a significant quantity of money. Come on, boys! No. Come on, boys. Hello, King Mark. How's it going? Yeah, little send it to me as well, so I can worry. Like, the only item of clothing I'd ever spend more than... I don't know. Where did you find a sword? In this climate. Oh, wait, didn't go to plan. Try again. There we go. See, now, now things are better. You don't have a sword. You don't have all that extra pressure on your shoulders. Oh, and you just ran off. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can't do anything in this city without a guy running out with a sword or shooting you in the head with a revolver. Yeah, as I was saying, the only item of clothing I'd spend more than, say, a few hundred pounds on. And, like, there are very few I would spend a few hundred pounds on, but if it was, like, a, I don't know, a suit or something like that, maybe. Um, the password's returning. Ah, oh, it's not. The password is... Exploring. Passwords recognize. Passwords willingly. Um, yeah, the only thing I'd spend that much money on is like something really dumb and novelty, like I don't know, a duster made of gecko skin, and then I'd wear it on stream once, and I'd be like, "Hey, guys, look what I've got." And you'd all be like, <laughs> how much was that? And I'd be like, hey, I'm not telling you. Oh, that's a lot of bars. Delicious bars. Yeah, I'd have a webcam pointed directly at, you know, in, at the prime duster angle. Oh yeah, you are spending nine grand on uni, which is... <laughs> Honestly, aside from me, of course, you got scammed. But to be fair, at least we're not in America, where, you know, university costs... I believe it's several limbs. Oh my god, I fell in the hole. Will you stop for a moment? Yeah, I've got no idea why the rest of the UK has to spend such an extreme amount. What am I standing on? Oh, nothing. Good. Thanks for the follow, King Mark. I was really hoping this run would be more smooth, but no, you do have to sort of... trickle down this thing. That's nice, I do suppose. Hold up, I got a Santa thing on Twitter, I need to see it. Okay, yeah, I'll be real, Lily, that is a- that's a cool dress. That was an immaculate jump. 
Like, I'm surprised that went as well as it did. Yeah, and I'm in more or less the same boat. I'm just, I'm always blown away when I hear how much other countries have to pay for their education stuff. It's, it's mad. It's like a thousand dollars for a class. Uh, we do a little, but I pay different amounts because I'm from here. <laughs> ah, well, you see, the phrase country is very complicated. Scotland's a country within a country. It's also a nation, but not within a nation, because a nation is an independent thing. It's very, it's, it's an odd, odd thing. I believe the main part of the agreement that stops us from having a massive rebellion is the fact that we can still call ourselves a country, technically. Made a shrine to Nicholas Sturgeon? Good on you. Yeah, those trugs are babies. We don't talk about them, Claymore. They're little gremlin babies. Oh, this little protectron. Oh, hello. Okay, the password is performed. Just joking. It's curiosity. What was I saying? It's fortified. Hmm? It's furniture. Okay. This is fine. I don't want to die. See, Lil, I've reached the stage where um, I'm not sure what you're referring to when you say hmm anymore. <laughs> like, I just say a lot of odd things. This guy's big. Do you want a grenade? That was a spectacular throw. Oh, Claymore. Hey, buddy. I do miss the snack cakes with razor blades. The password's mutations. The password's releasing. The password's reprimand. The password's grappling. I've lost my, my spark. I used to be able to do it first time every time. And now I've just got broken legs. And no hope left.
What is this unholy sound? Sounds like somebody doing a mukbang video. Oh, that was not a good throw. <laughs> Where was that one? That was a spectacular throw, however. <laughs> American politics has always been kind of weird to me. At least until, like, the last couple of years in the UK where I've been like, Oh, now I get it. Everything's terrible all the time. Ah, oh, they noticed me. I was hoping if I stood still, nothing would happen. Oh, I didn't even put on the gamma shield armor. What a fool. I mean, honestly, the worst thing Reagan did was kill all the birds and replace them with, uh, spy drones. But of course, you all knew about that. Oh god, I started Lily off on something. Well, Bill, I used to praise your sidearm. Now, not so much. Yeah, it's true Claymore. That's one of my favorite SCPs. I do, I do have a soft spot for the SCPs that uh, read more like standard creepypastas, just in a different format, and that's one of them. How many steel ingots is too many steel ingots? Because I think I'm I'm fast approaching that point. Is this lore? <laughs> it is. Five steel ingots is too many steel ingots. But with that, you can make a sword and a pickaxe. Devour the wealthy. This is called the man opener. I wouldn't mind getting killed by something called the man opener. I reckon I could do that. These things are hitting me over and over again. That was amazing. How many times have I played Minecraft? I will say... That's a- that's a strange way of phrasing it. <laughs> um, but I've played hundreds of hours of Minecraft. Yeah, King Mark... It's- it- it's always so difficult to, like, visualize quite how much money 23 trillion is. But I saw a thing recently where a guy got, like, one grain of rice that said that that represented... I think it was either a million or a billion dollars. And then this, like, mountain next to him was like, how much money... What's his name? Bloomberg has. And then next to that, an even bigger pile of rice, which was like, yeah, this is how much the US is in debt. It always blows my mind how much money there is slash isn't in the world. It's a very scary, scary thing. Man opener, you're going on three. Very traditional dungeon design, that. The entrance right next to the exit. I'm ready to open some man. 
the man opener out just the girl with a huge strap on. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Lily. <laughs> You're trying your best to remain filthy social democrat. Anka, whenever I read something that you say, the weather changes, and it's frankly, it's, it scared me at first, but now I think you have some kind of brilliant power. I want to open you. Thank you. You see, I always have, like, a slight anarchist twinge to me. Mostly just because I have some issues with, like, authority and whatnot, but... I, I always remember that in, like, a truly anarchist society, I'd probably be among the first to die. Oh. Well, I broke the lock. Was not expecting that one. Anarchy means no rulers, not no rules. Yeah. I've never been huge on- this is gonna cause me some grief, I know that, but I've never been huge on communism either. Just because it- I don't know. The logistics of it. I don't know enough about it to like it. That's why I always just stick to social democracy instead. How dare you! Right, so listen guys, I came back with so many steel ingots. You're gonna be so impressed. Oh my god, I told them they were gonna be impressed, and what did they do? Send a savage at me. Classic. Oh. Hello. Yeah, no, I've just been doing the Steel Ingot quest this whole time. The, like, the first quest in the DLC. <laughs> what was the purpose of coming here? Ha, huh, there wasn't one. Oh yeah, we can mine diamonds. Sick. I've played hundreds of hours of Minecraft and yeah, not once well, in stream. Look who made it back. I'll take those ingot scab. You just get back in there. You got a real knack for this. Here. This my Look. How many ingots did I get? Wait, hold up. How many ingots did I get? I think I just gave him like over 60. We were in there for a while. God damn. Yeah, I had a lot. Filtration helmet? Nice. Bombshell armor? Yes. Don't care for the laborer. Okay, how do, how do I look? That's a no for me. How do I look? That's a no for me. How do I look? It's another no for me, but I'm gonna have to wear it. I don't care for the laborer. 
Wow, can't believe Painticus hates proletariats and supports the bourgeoisie. Bourgeoisie? Bourgeoisie. Listen. The birds didn't choose their fate. God, who are you and why are you running at me? What? Oh no, I, I can call them pigs. I despise pigs. I hate them. Terrible creatures. I hate that they're smart. Who are you? Get out. Good. Just in time. Asher has ordered everyone into the square. Rumor has it that he's going to open up the arena. That's It's simp cool. I bring you good news. Good news, everyone. Lily, I don't know what Lily, I don't know what you're gonna do. And while I have led your efforts, it has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. Lily, I don't know what you're gonna do. And most of all, they envy our victories in the struggle for freedom. You keep saying you're gonna do it. At this point, I'd rather you did it. To celebrate this struggle, I ask my loyal workers. Who among you is prepared to fight for your freedom? <laughs> Thank you, Lil. I have gone insane. I will do it. Yes, me. Right here. We have one. This man here will fight in the hole. Come on, Asher. Will you send someone to the hole who actually stands a chance? Sir, you carry not only the dream that workers can become free, but that we may all someday become truly free the from the threats of our world. Dismissed. Let's get real cinematic with this. Speak again, Asher. You head down to the oh, he's got a smile on his face. That's cute. She sets up the fights. Uh. Sometimes we never got in Warcraft 3. Wait. Did Warcraft 3 Reforged not have cinematics? They promised them and silently removed them. Oh my god, Blizzard. Dumbass scab that signed up to fight in the hole, huh? And what are you doing? <laughs> Silence, Gremlin. Don't tell me your pale ass is gonna throw You're down. the same voice actor. You have what? But if that's not enough, there. Okay. It's pretty simple. You. Okay. You as well. Jesus Christ. Unless you're looking to get killed, you'll get the fuck. Oh yeah. Well, all right. I've got one for you right away. Or you can take... I will annihilate the arena man. Ladies and gentlemen of the Imperial City, welcome. In the blue corner. Oh. Don't blink. Don't even blink. They're fast, faster than you can believe. Don't turn your back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Victor of the blue team, 
Leave Verena now and rest. You've earned it. Oh, there she is. Wow. Impressive, slave. You again? Back... The Imperial City. Metal Blaster. Gooey. Oh, it's one of the things that goes zoop zoop. This guy's called John Bear. Well, he was called John Bear. Leave the arena now and rest. Grinder, not bad. The Bear, the bear Brothers? <laughs> the you Bear can. Brothers? Hi, this is me. That's my brother Steve. We're the Bear Brothers. We do motorcycling on the weekends. And uh, on the weekdays, we're accountants. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? Bear Brothers. Bear Brothers. The vicious fights in the, in the hole have made you stronger. You are now more resistant to radiation and damage. Get in there or die in here. What? <laughs> what? What did he do? That was creepy as hell. Did any of you see that? <laughs> he just crept up on me. Oh. God damn. Personally, I think that's one hell of a bark. Oh, oh, so all of my stuff was here. All of it. I'm carrying entirely too many things now. Metal Blaster, you go back. Railway Assault Rifle, I don't like you. Wild Bill, be gone. Keeping the base built that. Assault Rifle, you go. Space Suit, you go. More slave outfit, you go. Lump of brand, you stay. Yeah, I'm leaving the railway assault rifle. I don't like it anymore. But I'm definitely keeping the Krvbe. Intact garden gnome, be gone. Oh, we're gonna have to make some tough decisions. Let's nah, leave the power armor. Don't like it. Not anymore. Alien Blaster, I don't like you. Combat Shotgun, I don't like you. Death Club Gun, I don't like you. Drone Cannon, I no longer like you. Flamers, I don't like you. Hunting Rifle, don't like you anymore. Minigun, you're gone. I mean, Lil, we've tried to dye it blonde before, uh, not blonde, blue before, and it didn't work. And pink would definitely not suit me. Honestly, I liked it when it was red. When it was red, it was good. No, I'm not gonna let you bleach it, I don't wanna bleach my hair. That's how you get, ah, uh, scary, scary hair. <laughs> yeah, the main reason I don't want it bleached is because, uh, genetically speaking, 
I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have hair anyway. And I want to hold on to it for as long as I can. I know, Lil. Hey, Hammer. Yeah, I'm one of two males in my entire family who still have hair. This place is huge. I feel like gumption. Oh, that's true, idiot. Although if I ever do dye my hair blonde and get a handlebar mustache, I'll let you know. In fact, no, no, I won't let you know. I'll just find you. Such a creepy place. What are you shooting at? Oh, bottles. I thought it was going to be something more, like... Unsettling. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Another worker who thinks they could I'm sure everyone's impressed that you killed a pig in the hole. It's the pro and a fair price it is if it means I can avoid Alright, here's what we do. We go pushy pushy. We keep pushing, don't worry. No 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 we keep pushing. No 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 Ugh, never mind. Look at you. Been a while since I got to welcome you to this fine fucking city. Watch you step in uptown, or you might just take a tumble. What? You didn't like our little. I don't remember who this is. Us big kids playing too rough. You want a rematch? That's it. What? This is between Excuse me. I was the first thing you saw in this city. I'm pretty sure I killed you, right? Hey. Yeah, I too thought he was very small. Hello, friend. Not interested. She was shooting at some bottles. And well, that was that was all. Are you really gonna cook an entire sack of organs? What are you, Scottish? Guys, watch this. Amazing. I do not remember the Wicker Man statue. Can I go in here? Oh, that was a mistake. We have that traditional meal, haggis, which is a wonderful thing, which we don't ask questions about, because if we knew what was inside it, we would likely never eat it again. No, it doesn't really smell bad. It's got a unique smell of it, but it's not, like, bad. I'll tell you what, the deep fried Mars bar, I had one a while ago, like I had my first one, Lily was there, I wasn't a fan. There's so many people you can talk to in this DLC. Not that one. Um, there's so many people you can speak to in this game. But I'm just not going to do that because uh, it's Fallout 3. If it was New Vegas, I probably would. Oh yeah, Lily, you make them now. Haggis is gross, but it also is good. Oh yeah, Claymore, no, we deep fry everything. All right, all right. Well, we deep fry absolutely everything. Yep. 
Yes. Now, I've got a very important meeting with our new friend. So if anything big comes up, you use the intercom. Oh no. Yes, it, we have a different name for okay, break so hard. Tim Tams. Well, if it isn't our I think we call them I think that's what we call penguin bars. Nice work in the whole new blood. Knew you couldn't be one of our normal. So that bet I understand. That's all behind you now. In the pit, but we aren't perfect. Is that so? My second next to That's an interesting way to put it. But yes, I suppose the city's future does rest squarely upon it. Something tells me you won't. Now, someone of your go find Werner. We need you out here. I stop to him. Damn it, I'm on my way. I suggest you forget Werner's offer and consider mine. Stop Werner, and you'll have a bright future in the Sandra, what kind of name is that? It's actually a pretty standard name. I shouldn't mock. Oh, I've lost karma. Should have locked him inside the wicker man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very normal name. Just there's people around here called like Shooter and Shooter 2. Baby monitor. Frog studies. Cool. Cure research. Steal the baby and leave. Death Stranding. Pick up the baby and kidnap her. Death Stranding. I knew I heard something. Yellow. Okay, you're you're blocking my attacks again. Jingwei Shock Sword's gonna disagree with you. Oh, nice, you got Edinburgh Comic Con, booked off from work. Sweet crikey. Yeah, you can make me Toby if you want. Where did you even find a minigun? Hoomst? Oh. Mona? Squill. These are not names. You see, that's why Sandra put me off. I mean, Mona is a name, but, you know, it's not been popular since. The painting made it uncool. Oh no, it's it's sniper lady. Oh, I broke her sniper. So chuck that over the edge.
Raider throwdown armor. Phantom. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Shoot the grenade. That's what I wanted. Yeah, shoot that guy down there. That's what I wanted. Oops. I killed the pit slave. Okay, Lil. Have a nice rest. I feel like every Fallout 3 DLC ends the same way, which is just have a big fight. I like that sometimes when you're, oh my God, so many people, when you're trying to loot stuff in this game, it just doesn't work. So, from your guys' perspective, I'm just staring at corpses a lot of the time. the iconoclast armor back. Hmm. Let's take... Strong back. No, you know what? Let's take Animal Friend too. Finally. Let's commit to it. Testing out our new dentist tool. Yep. It's going very well. Hey, Avatar, how's it going? Ah, I broke the lock. My hubris doesn't know no bounds. Didn't even need a lock. Who slash what is making that noise? We vibing and chilling. As the prophecy foretold. This is not where I need to be, is it? Oh, oh, what would Avatar's designated weapon be? If you guys have played Blood, <laughs> I was about to call Bloodborne Bloodcorn. Um, if if you guys have played Bloodborne, uh, you'll know the threaded cane. I think Avatar's signature weapon would be the threaded cane. Oh god, her name was Friday. Oh, his <laughs> Bingo, no! Keep fighting. Keep fighting. You guys are shooting at me a lot for a man who's hiding a baby in his pocket. God. His name was Trouble Man. <laughs> I, wow, I, I didn't even, I didn't even recognize that while I was fighting him. Trouble Man. Oh. 
Cool. I'll take your auto axe, thank you. Okay, do any of you have good names? Jackson. Okay, I'll start using a weapon that makes sense. Like the man opener again. Yeah, Todd started out with like, okay, it'd be cool if we if we had one, and we called him Trouble Man, and then as time went on, he was like Jackson, Lisa, Dave. Uptown. Uh, so, Mr. Howard, why have you brought us into this meeting? Well, we've got a grave matter to discuss. Oh, oh yeah? It's about the, the future of the Fallout series? Yes, yes it is. I need you to come up with 650 names we could use for random raiders. But, but sir, we should really focus on making sure that the game has proper RPG mechanics and multiple endings. No, no. No, no, no. Trouble Man. Who you kill, the ending is always different. Unless it's Trouble Man. If you kill Trouble Man, you get the bad ending. <laughs> Did you kill Trouble Man or not kill Trouble Man? Different endings. Hmm, strange how it's decided to no longer take karma away when I steal from these raiders. No, Sandra is what Todd came up with. Do I need to be down there? Do I need to be down here? Yes. Sounds to me like you've stirred up a bit of fuss with the raiders. But more importantly, I hear you still. She's not just any baby. She She's not just any baby. Don't think I she can juggle and speak three languages. She'll be all right, just not with me. Asher's guards are always Eat the baby. Her. They find her right away. Werner sent me word that he's hiding out in the steel yard. Take it to. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Oh, we're good. Oh, it was Kai. Classic. Someone baked a cure into my baby. Why do I have to go to uptown? I thought he was in the, the steel yard. You feel like the channel's voice is devolving? I'm glad you've noticed. Yeah, let's go get him, boys. Yeah. You keep working, though. That's fine. Yeah, let's go get him. Look how fast that one is. SCP-1981, but it's chills. <laughs> 
Every time you hear it, Ronald Reagan devolves a bit more. There you are! Die! Marco! Damn it, Marco! I think the Vsauce music was really what the stream needed to just help it find its voice. Oh my god. You were hiding behind the door? Are you seven years old? Okay, good. Well, I mean, it worked, so the guy's onto something, clearly. Is our guy here? Everett? Everett's fleeing. What a mystery. Oh, now that's unfortunate. Look how this guy died. I just wanted to be good at being a trog. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering how you, you misspelled game as well. <laughs> Easy to mix up the two. One stores water, the other... Oh, there was some... There were some ingots I missed. Damn it. I'm gonna restart the whole thing now. A troubled past. Ever since the incident, I cannot think about games without thinking about... The well. Oh, is he up in the tower? I bet he's up in the tower. He might not be up in the tower. Oh. Who is making these noises? And can I please urge you to stop? Yeah, he's up in the tower. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be up in the tower? It's only the least convenient place for me to be. Did I miss my turn off? What is the turn off actually? How do I How did I get up there to begin with? I climbed from over there. Magic. I'm starting to believe it may have been magic. Yeah, I was on a whole tangent about social democracy and uh, it was a whole thing. And I've knocked over a barrel now, and I can't. Uh, two, three, five barrels. God damn. All right, this is where we found the guys, and they were brawling. I keep knocking over the barrels. Is that the song that's playing while I jump over barrels? Karaoke stream when? I mean, honestly give me enough to drink and it'll be any stream. Oh, 
Oh good, there's a trog chasing me. Do you qualify as a man? Yes, you do. Oh, I found it. Oh, I, I guarantee if we do a Sims thing, it will not be a single stream. It'll be like nine. And I'll get way too invested in it. How did you even get here? Ugh, you know what, never mind. Oh, large oo Zanka. It's explorable like with more axes. Ah, some more. Wait. Hold up. There's a guy. No, I. I didn't mean to do that. It looks quite sinister now that we're wearing this mask and have the man opener on our back. Before, the whole cannibalism thing was, you know, just a bit of a joke. Oh, there's the sword that I shot out the guy's hand. What? Okay, now, where is this man's hideout? I was just eating people as a joke, you know? It was, it was all for the, the good and the fun. Mate, you've got to pick a better hideout. Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready and they're... Think of it as clearing the stage. The cure in this brat's genes is the only thing worth keeping, and and that takes us to the last part of the plan. Le leaving you to keep. That's the spirit. Only thing that's left is to finally wipe out all. Whoa there. Sweet as the thought is, you but there's an army of trogs out there, hungry to get shut up. You can get to the power plant for Okay, cool. Let me go put the, the baby in the thing. Oh, the baby's already in the thing. Quick test. Okay, uh, we're good. Yeah, I, I never I never could get into Nightcore. The furthest I got was like 3 p.m. core. Also looks really fun. But it also looks like I am Oh god, where have I fallen? Do I still have a broken leg? No, I'm good. I'm just moving very slowly. I think it's because I'm in power armor. But I would not trade this fashion for the world. Power plant. Does it blow your mind to think that there are people out there who play all of the Elder Scrolls games and all of the Fallout games in third person? Because I assure you, they exist. And they prefer it that way. I'm just giving you a taste of what that's like. Yeah. Trogs do it. Just wait until you see combat in third person. It's gonna freak you out. Did you see that? How does that make you feel? It's like a Rorschach test, but... much more revealing. Tell me what you see. Is it pain? It should be.
somebody had the gall to, to live stream that affair? My goodness. <laughs> that jump was pretty sick though, not gonna lie. You wouldn't have been able to see that. I actually don't claim more. Um, that's because... As soon as I start streaming, I uninstalled all mods like that. Because they frightened me greatly. Terminate. A jeep for Khajiits. Nah, Khajiits are too far cat. You know, for every cat girl, there's a cat out there with human ears. Look at this cool little... Oh no! Oh my god. What do you mean I can't put a scope on my man opener? Because <laughs> she don't have human ears. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, Anka, is there any way to play Oblivion that's not very, you know, modded in the most depraved way possible? Are you guys friendly? Yeah, you are. What did you do? Oh no, that was me. Are you done there? You are. work pal I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here keep your shirt on I'm getting to we cut a few corners on researching the brat but the real wealth of the city is in that steel mill you'll have access whatever you want boss I'll be whipping folks back into shape and Medea's keeping an eye on the brat so you can come and go as you like but if you want you could keep collecting steel from the steel yard most folks can't handle it and the foreman would see you get a reward. And if you really care, Medea said she's looking for toys for the brat. But that's only if you give a shit. Medical research from the pit has improved your life. Just try not to think about what it may have cost others. Don't worry, I most certainly won't. Who are you? Oh no. Oh, that's what. Oh, I can lie. It's okay. We go. We finished the DLC. It's fine. These guys haven't noticed the thing. It's fine. Oh, Werner. Werner, we could have we could have gone so far. Yeah, the people here look all kinds of, uh, all kinds of broken. Don't worry, Pit Slave, I'll bring you to your new home. It's among the fish people. Do you like fish people? Oh, whoops. Ah, you're too far away, let's find a closer one. Oh my god, who has the gall? Oh, you're so far away, I'm not even gonna bother. Actually, you know what? No, because I'll be able to throw your body from really far. That'll be fun. God, it was some feat of engineering to make this scaffolding work.
Right. Your body gets to go. Oh. Oh god. Oh god, I went back so far. I can just load and save. It's fine. Ah, oh, Werner, we've been through this. Okay, you know what, Werner, you have... You have done enough to warrant a special death. Oh yeah, Anka, the, the real story behind the DLC is Pittsburgh, it's basically a big slave camp and everyone's very sick and there's crazy drugs. And you were told to go and stop all of those things. And depending on how you do it, you can stop several of those things. But in the end, Pittsburgh is still Pittsburgh and therefore everyone loses. Sounds very real. Oh, there's my little mole rat friend. Mischievous dog. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh never changes. So that's us more or less done with all of the extra content for Fallout 3. Now we can move on to the story if that's what people want to see because there is technically the broken steel DLC at the end Anka wants it then we'll do it it has been decided can I fast travel was this yeah that was all a futile exercise oh yeah we get to go back on this thing can we stop by the Iguana Palace? Yes, but I may hurt the Iguanas for the amount of times they have wronged me. <laughs> Do not. I forbid. Oh, a wild boar. Can we take you can we take you with us, wild boar? From Stalker, can we take you with us? Fallout does have a story, but we've crafted our own, and really, I, I much prefer ours. Huh, I've never noticed all these, like, radio tower things before. Satcom array. Oh yeah, Raven Rock. Let's go explore Raven Rock, actually. Okay, Avatar. See you later. Yeah, Fallout 4 story is not good. It's bad, it's melodramatic, and it's basically just like a terrible first draft version of New Vegas in terms of the uh, faction choices. You know, I, I, I could really see the plot twist coming from like a mile away. And as soon as I did, I was just, as soon as it happened, I was like, oh god, I should have known better. I can't remember who I sided with in my first playthrough. I think it was the Minutemen. I think I just went for the Minutemen ending. 
because the Minuteman ending is the most neutral. Because there's, of course, the bad endings, Brotherhood of Steel and Institute. And then there's the hippie ending, the railroad. And I'm sure there's another faction that I can't remember. And they all tire me. <laughs> we are the help people. We do it good. Yeah, it was terrible. It was it was basically like the NCR without the depth. Yeah, the N the NCR just like if you look at them surface level, they're like, oh, they're the they're the good guys, and then you look further into it and you're like, well, hmm. I mean, kind of, but yeah, I think. It the, the biggest problem for Minuteman for me is the fact that um, pretty much every other Fallout game shows a corrupted version of basically the American self-image. Fallout 4 doesn't have that with the Minutemen. They're just like, yeah, this is what America's all about. And that's it. There's no, there's no twist. Yeah, it would have been really interesting to see the Legion get padded out a bit. Because honestly, the politics of New Vegas are just masterful. I know, I'm not a fan of the way Fallout 3 kind of railroads you into being the good guy. I will say, though, a lot of New Vegas also kind of... Honestly, this isn't really a problem with New Vegas, more it is all games. But few games actually, uh... What's it called? Few, few games make you make really hard decisions. Like, I remember there's one in New Vegas people always say is a difficult choice, and it's the one where you have to go into the... I can't remember if it's a vault or just something that looks kind of like a vault and decide whether you want to save the people who are trapped inside it, or save all of the farmland. And I'm like, yeah, it's not a nice choice, but there is one very, very obvious answer to this. We either kill a handful of people right now, or we literally kill everybody in this entire region of Earth. So, hmm. Yeah, the, the Legion just represents, like, a super right-wing authoritarian thing. They're, they're basically the fascist option. And, um... Yeah, they, they do get kind of painted as the bad guys because... They're the bad guys. But also because, yeah, they didn't get as much development. And that's a shame. Because they're definitely one of the cooler factions. God, e even the minor factions in New Vegas are really cool. What were the 
drug running guys called? Now hold it right there, pal. You're giving me everything. You've done this before, haven't you? Found you. Where? What's the matter, huh? Can't stand. Yeah, the great cans. I love the great cans, man. The sight of your own. Can't stand the sight of your own blood. Hello? I'm out of here. Yeah, I didn't know it was in three either. Is that sentry? But oh yeah, it's fighting a massive death claw. Oh, it's a little, little gecko. Oh, it's it's literally called little gecko. It's okay, little gecko. You're fine. It's one of my favorite music tracks. Make it big, gecko. Gotcha, chief. You're the death claw now, buddy. You're the death claw now. <laughs> Lad. There he goes. Look at him. Actually, you know what? Be a little bit bigger. Who is firing rockets at this time? Right, let's just go to Gecko Place. Gecko place, gecko place. I will annihilate everybody in this tower if you don't let me in. Thank you. Okay, fine. I won't annihilate the iguanas. It's okay, they're alive, they're just frozen. <laughs> oh, I thought I was about to have... I thought I was about to have a big ol' issue on my hands. <laughs> let's, let's sleep for a bit. It's just not been warm enough in here. I'll need to change that. I'll set the robot on fire. You guys doing good? You guys doing good? You guys... You guys doing good? Yeah, there they are. Aw, oh, here we go. This is it. <laughs> you guys were making my game crash, and now you're gonna pay. Oh my god, they- oh god, they have a pool cue. Never mind. I take it back. They're armed. They're armed and they outnumber us greatly. I know one action I could do that could freak some of you out right now. Just quick save, that's all I'm gonna do, don't worry. I'm leaving. <laughs> no, it's alright, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm just gonna equip some mines. Just think about what would happen if I did, though. J just joking. <laughs> Commit snack cake with razor blades. Oh god, I think I landed on a merchant, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no, we're good. Well, we're not. We landed where we deserve. Oh, there's an underground bit. Curious. Yeah, I know the whole quick save trick.
Oof. That was a rough fall. Revolver speedrun strat. Not enough games let you blow open doors. Because Easy Pete is a liar, and that's why you sneak his dynamite back into his pocket. With the fuse lit. Scientific pursuits. We came here when we were level like six. Maybe less. It was before the mole rats were my friends. Okay, you have piqued my curiosity. What? Hold up. Do that one again. Um. This guy explaining? Oh, he's explaining it and I missed it. So, how can you pull this off? Go into your pit boy. Your weapon section. And uh, you're gonna want to hotkey your weapon, so hold whatever uh, key you want to bind it to, whatever number key, and it'll show up right here. And then you just click the weapon. I like mine binded to one. So whenever you press one, it'll equip and unequip it. Pretty simple. Two is to change the ammo type. You hold W, which is going forward, double tap two. Once Press the action it, button to go forward. Once it lets you. Keep holding W while you're still in your pit boy. And then unequip your revolver. So say you're at a high area and you want to get down. Does it only work with revolvers? Onto a lower area. You reload, you do the whole thing. You go down. But you took fall damage. The best way to not have this happen. Oh, I see. Is to just... Anime Man is online, guys, on Origin. Is that Origin or is that you play? It's one of the ones people don't Do use. It and just spam quick save. So, once you, uh... F5 is quick save. Uh, once you F... Yeah, I wouldn't think there's anywhere that's actually useful. There is? Boomer. I completely forgot those guys are called boomers. Oh, I forgot. I'd oh, that... That would have been very bad. 
Uh, Robo Brain, I hate to do this, but... Please dress in your... Can you give me another one of those suits? In... Or did I kill the only one that can give me that? This might be an issue. may have to reload that one real quick. Oh, level 29 demon spawn. Delicious. Robot. Robot, come here, robot. I want you. Robot. Yare yare. Okay, thank you. I got my suit now. I don't think I do know what Za Warudo is. Oh god, no, he's back! Oh my god. Oh my god, he's back. You got any games on your phone? Hey, mister! You got any games on your phone? Hey there, sport. Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Oh boy. I want to ride the twinkle. That really hurts doing that voice. I'm a delinquent. I love in the old world blues when you find the like, templates for these places. I still sprint like a madman, though. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here, and now so do you. That's right. It is whatever I say. Boy, you learn fast. Hey, I know. Let's play a fun game. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsboom cry. Timmy Newsboom. You can? Good. Where is Timmy? I will annihilate him. Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Or your parents are getting a divorce because of you. They told- they, they've never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and wish you were dead. No, no! Not my mommy and daddy, no! <laughs> no! Oh, I lost karma. Rut row. Hello. Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. I forgot about that. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. You're 
He looks like me, but older. <laughs> Not quite. I should have suspected there was some reason behind my recent good fortune. Perhaps you'll get to see him in time. Now that is just the sort of question to be <laughs> You understand that I am in control, then? Excellent. God, this is like playing VR you chat. far more promising than your father. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They are very happily married. And I'd like you to change them. Put an end. Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. Let's end a marriage. Without killing either of them. Ugh, okay. Good day to you. Hey, Janet. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? Is that it? Did it work? Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you. Are they are they going to do their thing? Achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong suit. And at least you are cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. I am pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. You are far more agreeable than your father. If you wish for more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. But do be creative. Of Music to my ears. Excellent. Let's kill a woman. Hey, Martha. Well, hi there. Well, hi there. Mabel's a good friend to me. I'll sometimes go over to her house and chat while she's baking. Uses that oven all the time. Let's bomb it. Hi, Martha. Mabel, I meant to ask you. Have you seen the new Robco catalog? I thought you might be interested. Since you don't seem to like it, you, you don't belong here. It's not real. Not You're the only one who can end it. You need to know the truth. You're Mr. Handy. I don't want a new one. I don't even really want the one I have now. Well, hi there. Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. Always. I forgot I don't quite have a pit boy. She's gonna pop in a second, right? If I just stand here, I'll be safe. Oh.
Wow, there's actually multiple ways to do this. This isn't very like Fallout 3. Simulation prevents you from tampering with the body. Oh, a roller skate on the stairs. Oh my, that is simply inspired. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. I think you'll find that I have been quite honest with you thus far. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Use the knife. I thought you might find it immune. The red... Go... Cool, now we just have to kill everyone. What is this, some kind of ARG? I didn't realize there was a thing to do in here. There must be one thing I'm missing. Is it the chair? It's not the chair. Is it this? No? What am I missing? Okay, so... Oh! Oh. Well, let's take a look at this. Why has color returned? Why has color returned? Is that meant to happen? Are you angry at me? Don't you have a few things you should be collecting? Why is the color like this? The the yeah, the lack of No color is bothering me.
You see, we could do Jack the Ripper, or we could do Chinese Invasion. Let's try the Chinese Invasion. Chinese is boring? Understood. George. Yeah, I think the game is a little bit broken. Everyone's so fast. Not fast enough. God, that's a horrific mask. That's a really cinematic blood spatter. I like it. Oh, I've lost karma. These people aren't even real, except they are hauntingly real. Yeah, the color filter still works in here. Can I kill you? I can. This is playing like a gamer arts game. What's going on in your basement? Why is your basement so derelict? Hello? Hello? Oh, the color's gone again. No, no. Yeah, I was, uh, I mentioned that earlier, actually, that I, I like the bit in overall blues when you see, like, the template for all of these places. I can't remember if it actually makes reference to this at all directly, but it's, uh, it's a nifty little thing nonetheless. Yeah, no, Old Horror Blues was spectacular. That might be the best part of New Vegas, and that's saying something. Hi there! Oh, Help. Whatever it was, I guess it's gone now. Oh. No. Evil Mastery Perk. Betty has shown you new and more brilliant outlooks for your evil intent. Thanks to completing her tasks, you deal more damage to good or very good characters. Delicious. Enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I had the distinct impression you enjoyed yourself. We are like you and I. Now, you ask for the means to leave Tranquility Lane, and you are, of course. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. What, you didn't like being a dog? Well, I suppose it had its moments. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need... I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable and even dangerous. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with... Yes, I'd like you to come with me. That... 
Let's hurry. Cool. Wow, none of the mines went off. Hello, sir. <laughs> Dad is friendly. Yeah. Just kind of wish the, the same went for dog meat, but I guess they were enemy mines. If you start attacking my mole rat friends, I'm going to lose my mind at you. Just wish the same went for real life, yeah. Oh, look, I got a little monstrous dog. Number 12, monstrous dog. Oh, it was a death claw. He's not a friend. Little Bappy Deathclaw. <laughs> yeah, you can't see a dog without it being mischievous anymore. Oh, hello. <gasps> Yaogwai! Yaogwai! Fight him! What was that? Yeah, no, you guys deal with him. I'm gonna go inspect what that was. That is a very rough position to be in, Anchor. Oh, the game crashed. Oh, would you look at that? Thank you, Fallout. Oh, yeah, I have to stream this at some point. I do believe I'm going to finish things up there. Because I've just remembered I actually need to be up. Not early tomorrow. Or today, rather. But I do have to be up. It was fun. Both of them were fun. I enjoyed both. Thank you all for coming to them. Very fun times. And the most fun thing of all is this. Oh, oops. Is this. Ooh. Ooh. Would you look at that? Ooh. Ooh. Let's see who's 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 watching. I don't know what these accounts are, but they're always here. Like Commander Root. And I think I think those are the two big ones. Just bots, and they're always there waiting for one of you to do wrong. But I won't tell you which one. now. Goodbye. Have a nice day, etc.